Alright guys, I got done watching Willy's Wonderland for the third time now. First in theaters, two times at home, um, and I can't get over this fucking movie, man. It's too good. It's, <laughs> it's so funny. It's so, it's so funny, gory. Um, it's everything I wanted and more, so basically this is going to be your little review of Willy's Wonderland. Uh, this will be the spoiler free one. The spoiler one will probably be around maybe tomorrow, even maybe possibly later today. But first, you gotta do the spoiler free. So, basically, uh, the plot is where a quiet drifter is stranded in a remote town where he basically his, he's runs over the spike strip. That's kind of all that happens there. Um, and then can't pay, can't pay to fix the tires or has to go work at Willy's Wonderland. The animatronics come to life. That's it. Well, the te teens come, but I mean, that's, <laughs> that's filler. <laughs> but this movie is great. It, it's very 80s, like, it's 100%. It reminded me a lot of Killer Clowns from Outer Space, and I love that movie, so. And this, this... Like, I can't believe they did this with, like, less than $5 million budget and two months' time pre-production. Uh, this movie is all in all, as it says, Nicolas Cage batshit crazy. So, uh, if you like seeing Nicolas, if you think uh, Nick's, Nicolas Cage beating the shit out of animatronics sounds cool, then you should watch this movie. Because it, it fucking fills that in for you. Um, so, all the, the animatronics designs are really good. They're all unique, they all have their own personality. Um, so that's all good. They all have their own voices. Yeah, they all have their own voices. Uh, actually, two of them don't speak, sadly. I know they were originally meant to, but two of them do not speak. So, that's sad, but hey, whatever. So... They're all unique, all the, they're all, all the animatronics have their, like, kind of benefits in battle, and kind of non-benefits in battle, or, what's the word? Cons. There we go. <laughs> Struggling to find words. Um, so they all have their pros and cons when it's, when they're in battle, and it's, um, really interesting to see how it plays out. Even though you know Nicolas Cage is probably going to beat the shit out of them, which he does, so that happens. But this movie is, um, basically, best way I can describe it, an acid trip. You're, you're like, on, you're on, like, on drugs while watching Nicolas Cage beat the absolute fuck out of animatronics. So. <laughs> That's really all I have to say for this. Uh, the rating for it, this may be one of the bad, in my opinion, one of my favorite horror movies I've seen ever. <laughs> so, um, not sure what I'd have to give it. Maybe, I'd say in between 9 and 10 out of 10. In that area. So, probably 9.5 out of 10. There were definitely a few very small things I would change. But other than that, it was incredible. <laughs> if you don't, if you don't take this movie seriously, you're gonna have a, a hell of a time with it because it doesn't even take itself seriously. So that's gonna conclude the spoiler-free Willy's Wonderland review. Adios.